Hey, what's going on guys? Buffalo Gamer 77 here. And today's video, I just want to talk about the current state of collecting that I'm in. You know, I would say my collection has been going on a decline or the last maybe, you know, six months to a year. Uh, I've not picked up as much, much stuff, much games. And my unboxing videos have been on a decline as well. And there are some reasons for that. One of the reasons is that the local game stores in Buffalo, New York, where I live, have either you know closed down or they consolidated. You know, one of the chains game stores here, uh, they had like five locations. Now they're down to two. You know, I'd say about four or five years ago, I would go to the local game store and I would go in there for like 40 minutes. You know, I would talk to the employees there, walk around. They would make recommendations on games. Uh, now when I walk in there. There's like no interaction at all. You know, I think to be a good seller, you have to know your buyer. And if you know your buyer, you can, you can maybe recommend things to them that they would like. And now I walk into the game store, there's like no interaction. Like, you know, the person there works there, doesn't talk to you. You know, they don't like know what kind of games you like to play. Back then, you know, they would say, oh, you like platformers? And like, oh, have you heard of this platformer? How about this one? You know, do you have this system? You know, like, they just talk to you. And now there's just no interaction. And it's kind, of, it's kind of sad because, you know, they're not selling probably a lot of stuff and they're not doing well. Uh, so they have to, you know, they have to close down some stores. You know, there's some training that needs to be involved there. And the person that owns the store or the manager, you know, they have to train their employees to be more interactive with their customers. Um, I don't know. This is my thought on that process there. Uh, what else is there? Like Play Asia. I buy, you know, I buy games for Play Asia sometimes, you know, more frequently than limited run games now. Uh, limited run games, I would buy games from them a lot. When they had their, you know, games are limited, you know, even for standard edition games, they're limited to 2,000 or 3,000 copies, and they would sell them at 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. and then at 6 p.m. Now they have open pre-orders, and only the collector's editions are numbered. You know, I have some games that are still sealed from Limited Run, and some games that have opened and played from Limited Run. Uh, I'll, same with Play Asia. They have games sealed and in uh, games I played. Um, what else is there? Game prices have been going down a little bit. Depending on what game it is, like Super Mario Bros. 2, I've seen that the price of that game decline. Um, Craigslist, for me, I would, you know back then, like four or five years ago, six years ago, I would go on Craigslist and buy games. And recently, last time I checked was probably about six to eight months ago, and it's the same post over and over again. You know, the same person reposting re the same post that they had, you know, they did like four days ago, five days ago, and nothing new on there. I'm not sure if people are selling their games on eBay instead or holding on to their games or what's going on with the local industry in Buffalo, New York. But I'm not sure if you're experiencing that in, you know, in, in the world or not. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think about your current state of collecting. Is your collecting on the increase or on the decline? Uh, it's been pretty steady. You know, the last game I bought, I'm trying to think, from the game store... I can't even remember what game it was. I I don't remember. I, I can't recall. But I'm sure there's a game I picked up recently. Not recently, but in the last maybe a month or so. It's got to be a game. I know I picked up some Amiibos from Best Buy. Uh, but other than that, game-wise, it's been kind of hard. Kind of hard to find some games. Uh, the last game I bought for Limited Run was the Jay and Silent Bob's like mall. I forgot what it was called. Mall game. Mall rats. Not mall rats, but I, f I forgot what it was actually called. But I think I pre-ordered that ba back between October and November. And still haven't received it yet. And I checked their website and it said, I think, no quarter one, 2020. So I guess we can check maybe next month for it. Uh, maybe April. Who knows when quarter one ends. But I don't know. If you're experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing, let me know. Also, games on my list that I've been trying to collect for, I've been actually collecting the games I wanted. You know, there's that many games out there that I'm actually looking for. You know, there's a few games out there that I'm trying to find, like, uh, let's see, Vice Project Doom for Nintendo, or uh, R-Type for PS2. But there's not many games out there that I'm trying to find anymore. You know, of course, there's the ones that are kind of pricey that I'm trying to find a good deal on. Maybe, you know, I go to, you know, the thrift store, see if they have any games there, but... Not too often. I don't know. Tell me thoughts below. Comment below. Let me know what you think. You know, if you're still collecting or if you stopped collecting. If you're still collecting, what you know, what have you seen in price-wise? Has it been going up or been going down? 
Yes, yeah, tell me your thoughts below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I do videos on, let's say, streams. I do unboxings, pickups, news, things like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good night.